Hi guys, this is Andrew and we are here again with another Intel Optane memory test. So what I have in front of me here is two Intel NUX i5 7th gen. They're both the same, um, same model but what's inside there is a little bit different. So what I have here on my left is the I have a one terabyte mechanical hard drive with 16 gig RAM and what I have on my right here is four gig memory only uh, one terabyte mechanical hard drive and with a 16 gig Intel Optane memory. So the test we're going to do today is to show you how Intel Optane memory can speed up your PC um, like you have a SSD in there. Okay guys, first test we're going to do is just see how fast the Intel Optane memory can reboot the Intel NUC. So I'm just going to go here, yeah, run as administrator. So I'm, I'm rebooting the one with the regular mechanical hard drive first. It's got no Intel Optane, right? So um, as you can see, I've started the test first. So I'm switching over now to the one with Intel Optane. As you can see, this guy had a heaps late start, but let's see how quick it reboots the PC. Uh, if you look down here, there's like a little timer that will appear later. Um, how quick the Intel Optane reboots. So as you can see, it's already loaded the BIOS, BIOS screen. Okay, so you can see the Intel, the NUC with the Intel Optane memory is already booted into Windows. Okay guys, next test we're gonna do is loading our GIMP up with our image and some modifications on there. So you can see here, I'm gonna load it now. So run as administrator. So this one here is the mechanical hard drive. And this one here, which are run much later than the mechanical hard drive is the Intel Optane. And as you can see, it's already loaded the image in less than, just less than seven seconds. And the one on the right is the mechanical hard drive. It finished in about just less than 17 seconds. Okay, all right. Let's um, hop on to the next test guys. Okay, right on to the next test. We're gonna test Blender. So I'm gonna run the, the mechanical hard drive one first, as you can see. And now I'm gonna do the Intel Optane much later than the mechanical hard drive. And you can see it finished in one minute. Oh, not one minute, I mean, less than one and a half seconds um, with the Intel Optane. And the one with just mechanical hard drive took about just 13 seconds, I guess. All right, so let's hope, let's uh, hop into the next, um, the next test. Just gonna close these off. Okay, so now we're on the, on to the fourth test, second last one. For those content creators out there, I have um, Photoshop elements here. I'm gonna load Photoshop elements here on the mechanical hard drive first, and then I'm gonna do the Intel Optane right after. As you can see, the Intel Optane had a slow start like usual, and you can see it's done in just under five seconds. The Photoshop elements is taking quite a long time on the mechanical hard drive. All right, so Photoshop elements finished about 58 seconds. All right, that took a little bit longer than we expected, nearly one minute. Okay, so I'm just gonna click OK and off to the next test. Okay guys, this is the last take for Adobe Premiere Elements. I'm gonna load the mechanical hard drive one first. And now I'll do the Intel Optane one right after. So you can see it just finished just 
under nine seconds. And the one on the right is taking a while because it's the mechanical hard drive. Yep, and just finished in about a minute and a little bit. And there you have it guys, having the Intel Optane memory paired with your mechanical hard drive does speed up your PC dramatically. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll see you guys next time.